What happens when you take this colourfully decorated bit of styrofoam and send it 900 metres underwater? It would either probably break apart inside the stocking or get, um, like, expand because of the um, pressure. If it goes like 2,000 metres beneath the sea, there's going to be a lot of pressure under there and then it can be like squashed and crumbled and stuff. Like a pancake. Yeah. I think it might get like a bit soggy from the water. Well, we're about to find out. This class from Woodbridge Primary is learning about life deep, deep underwater off the Tassie coast. Here, undersea mountains, called seamounts, are home to lots of different forms of life, including coral reefs. They're a bit different from the shallow water, tropical kind we normally hear about. Deep sea corals live in a cold environment without sunlight and feed on tiny organisms from passing currents. Researchers on board the RV Investigator spent four weeks finding out more about them and life around seamounts, filming and collecting samples. They also found time for this bit of science, sending styrofoam person to a gruesome, wet death. His name is Gabe. I'm not sure why. Gabe was just one of a bunch of different objects, including fish and cups and more styrofoam heads, that got a spruce up before the mission. So what does happen 900 metres down? Well, as well as all this prettiness, there's also a lot of pressure. The deeper we go, the more water there is around and above, and the stronger the pressure. And if you happen to be a styrofoam object, that pressure will squeeze the air right out of you. The things that live down here, like fish, have adapted to handle it, and containers like this are designed to withstand the enormous crushing force. But somehow I don't think Gabe has. Back in the classroom, it's time to see the results. Whoa! Yep, they are tiny. I thought that a fish would completely die and just go into lots of mini pieces and just go splat. So this is better, I guess. For these guys, it's an opportunity to learn a bit more about what's happening in their very own ocean backyard and to see what lives on the ocean floor. Weird eyes or not.